Hello friends, we have a basic idea of the signal. What is the signal? What are the types of signal? And what is the digital signal? The next part which we should understand is why we should learn about the signals and signal processing. Now keep in mind, we have discussed this. The signal will contain an information. We need to extract that information. Each and every signal holds the information and information actually drives the world. If there is no information, the information will be meaningless if you don't process that. What is the use of information if you will not do the processing, if you will not extract the information from that. Signal also needs special treatment like removing the noise. We have seen that in many cases in our second year that a signal will contain a noise and we go for the low pass filter to remove that noise it is not possible for us to remove the noise if we will not do any signal processing we cannot use the variables as it is for the next stages there has to be some mathematical operation should be carried out on a signal so that that signal can be used for next stages. Very famous example of the use of signal processing is Internet of Thing or IoT and how the big data is using the data generated through these various sensors. Each and everything in IoT and big data is driven by the information generated. And this information generated can be from the sensors which we have installed at various places. The signal which we get from that sensors, we process them and we get a pure digital data. This data is processed and the information is extracted from them. This is why we should know about the signals and signal processing. Let us take one more example, the ECG. We know the ECG looks like this. But from the sensors, we do not get a smooth graph like this. In fact, we get a graph like this. Here, as a human being, we can understand that this signal is actually present in this. Whereas, there is no baseline to this signal. The signal is up and down. So what we do is that first we perform the baseline correction and all the signal is brought down to one single baseline like this. In this figure, you can see that all the signal is brought to one baseline. Now still, there is a noise present here and this will lead to the very wrong information reading we required very smooth graph like this so because of this noise we will get a wrong information to remove this noise we can go for the filtering and after filtering we will get this kind of graph further a doctor can read this graph like this or we can write a program to read this ECG and this is why we go for signal processing this is one of the many example where we use the signal processing 